A Russian-American woman has been charged with illegally operating as a spy for a foreign government while in the United States. Prosecutors filed a complaint Tuesday with Judge Sarah Natburn of the Southern District of New York in which they charged 61-year-old Elena Branson, otherwise known as Elena Chernik, with illegally acting as a Russian agent and failing to register as a foreign operative. Additionally, she is charged with conspiring to commit visa fraud and providing false statements to agents from the FBI. Damian Williams, a U.S. attorney, said in a press release, as alleged, Elena Branson, a dual U.S.-Russian national, actively subverted foreign agent registration laws in the United States in order to promote Russian policies and ideology, adding that Russian President Vladimir Putin and the Russian government haven't been shy about acknowledging that pumping out aggressive propaganda for the Russian diaspora around the world is important to them. According to the complaint, in or around 2011, Branson began working as an agent of a foreign government, specifically the Russian Federation. The filing continued, Branson received approval from the Russian government in or about 2012 to incorporate an organization in New York City called the Russian Center New York or RCNY. The RCNY became a Russian propaganda center, with Branson using the organization to arrange a campaign to lobby government officials in Hawaii to not change the name of a Russian fort, according to the complaint. Williams said that the accused foreign agent is believed, and I quote, to have corresponded with Putin himself and met with a high-ranking Russian minister before the establishment of the RCNY. According to the complaint, Branson also made false statements to the FBI around September 29, 2020, in which she, and I quote again, knowingly and willfully falsified, concealed, and covered up her alleged illegal actions by using false statements. Officials added she fled the U.S. for Moscow just under a month later. If convicted, she faces up to 30 years in prison, according to the Justice Department. Well, we'd like to know your thoughts and responses. Share them in the comments down below. And also, share this news and support us through subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for the real stuff on Next News Hour.